Hello, boys and girls. How are you getting on? Are you well? I'm Ravi from EnglishAmini.com, your friend and your fluency mentor. And today I'm bringing you another English idiomatic expression to learn. And today's expression is a very, very simple one. And namely, it is for a good while. And it simply means for some time, for quite some time. For a good while means that the period in time in question is somewhat longer than normally. So basically when you talk about something and you want to refer to the fact that something's gonna take quite some time, you know, something's gonna take longer than probably expected, then you can say that this task is going to take a good while to accomplish, which means that it's going to take somewhat longer than probably others expect you to finish that task, you know. Or you just want to indicate that the task is uh, quite time-consuming and it's going to take a long time to complete it. Basically, for a good while, the word good in this particular collocation indicates that it's a long time. Not necessarily a massive amount of time, you know, but uh, longer than normally, you know, longer than a short space of time. And uh, here's another example of how you would use this particular phrase, right? Say, for instance, you meet an old friend you haven't seen in a long time, and then you can tell them, Hi, Jim, nice to see you. We haven't met in a good while. Or we haven't seen each other for a good while, you know. This particular location is for a good while, but in a good while, is also a very valid English collocation, but obviously today we're looking at this particular one, this specific expression for a good while, so the most fitting uh, way of using it would be to say we haven't seen each other for a good while, you know, meaning that we haven't seen each other in a long time, you know, and in this context, for a good while, actually does mean that we haven't seen each other in a long time, you know, in ages, which is another way of uh, expressing the same thing, you know, when you haven't seen each other for a good while, you can t say that, wow, I haven't seen you in ages, which means pretty much the same thing, right? But uh, as you can see, depending on the context, the expression for a good while can mean anything from short relatively short period of time, you know, anything up to a massive amount of time, depending on what you talk about. When it comes to meeting old friends, for a good while obviously means quite a long period of time, you know, but when it comes to doing a particular task at work and then, then you tell your boss this is going to take a good while, it might mean rather hours than days, you know, compared to a short while, which would be a matter of minutes, anything up to an hour, for example, you know, but all these borderlines are not clear-cut, you know, they're not clearly defined, it all depends on the context, and uh, basically, you can use the phrase for a good while, when you, basically, when you have to refer to this particular thing and uh, indicate that it's going to take longer than something else, you know. That's my interpretation of this phrase, and I hope that it's uh, quite clear for you to understand. And just let me come up with another uh, example of this particular phrase, right, for a good while. There was a point in time when I stopped making these videos, and then I hadn't made them for a good while, for two months or so, you know, it was one and a half years ago or so, and it was all due to the fact that I was moving house and uh, basically I just didn't have the time or the opportunities to record these videos, you know. But then I restarted my video recording procedures, you know, and started doing it quite regularly. And now you can see new videos being added onto my YouTube channel uh, quite regularly, you know. But there was a point in time when I had stopped making them for a good while. And for a good while means obviously for quite some time, for a longer period of time, which in this particular case was two months. But whenever you use that phrase, it doesn't have to be months. It can be 
hours, days, months, depending on the context. But the only thing you have to bear in mind is that for a good while means for quite some time, you know, for a longer time, a longer period of time than, than uh, some other reference in that sentence or during that conversation. But there might, mightn't be any other references, you know, when you tell the other person, wow, we haven't seen each other for a good while, you don't necessarily compare it to some other period of time, you just, you just mean it, basically that's what it is, you just say what you feel, and for a good while is for a long time. Okay, my friends, thanks for watching this video, and I hope that you'll be putting this advice, this particular phrase, to good use. So, just in case, if you haven't been using this phrase, learn it, memorize it, repeat it, and start using it in your daily conversations. Thank you, and bye-bye, stay tuned!